Hey world, how you doing? Uh, we got a true uh, two-door uh, prep table. Looks like a pizza prep table to me because it's a difference between a sandwich prep table and a pizza prep table is the width here is very wide from here to here for making a pizza. Sandwich ones are just sandwich boards. So a little larger surface area pizza prep table so this is a true <clears throat> this is a let's see what we got here some light up here let's see what we got here we got a true tpp 67 that's going to mean t for true PP for pizza prep table. PP for pizza prep. 67 inches is the 67, 67 inches wide. Um, here's your refrigeration unit AE A4440 YXA. It's going to be an R134A because it's a Y in the YXA. R134A, 12 ounces uh, down there. Intended for use in rooms with an ambient temperature of 86 degrees or less. You have to be careful about that, customers, if you're buying trues. That's all they're rated for, is 86 degree ambient. So, can't use them on a cook line. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Customer complaint was temperature, the box in the, temperature in the box has to get really high before the unit comes on. Uh, so, I checked that and yeah, the unit wasn't even coming on. And it was at 50 degrees in the box already, so that pretty much means that your temperature control's toast. So, uh, here's the old temperature control that I pulled out of it. And here's your part number. Your part number's down there. Let's see if I can get a light on you. Light here. Here's your Danfoss number. You look on your temperature. This is your temperature control that I pulled out. You look on the back here for the number. Let's see if we can see a number. There's your 800 382. That's your Danfoss number. And that's what you want to get. Um, so, um, this one yeah, looks a little moist. Got some corrosion. There's your corrosion. Looks kind of corroded. She's tied. Looks like she's original. I got a funny feeling that's original control. Anyway, so uh, put the other one in. It goes in back in there. You see the there's your temperature stuff and everything. Um, all you do is pull that uh, the probe. I don't know. Let me see if I can. I'll let me see if I can light it up. I'm gonna turn on the light out on my camera. Back in a second. Okay, just turn the light on on my camera and you can see where the capillary tube from the temperature control goes into that piece of quarter inch copper tubing. So you push, you just uh, pull on the capillary tubing and pull it out of that quarter inch and, and you reinsert the other one and stick it all the way in. Don't put any oil or grease on it or anything because it's got to, that's how it conducts the temperature. You know, it's got to be in there. You could put uh, thermal grease on it if you have any, and that'll make it uh, a little bit slippy to go in the tube. I've done that before. It helps sometimes. The sticking a uh, capillary tube in a dry hole is uh, kind of like sticking anything in a dry hole. It's uh, sometimes difficult to push it in. So, anyhow, um, but. And all you do is fairly simple. These are your two wires. I just connect right on here. I just put them on here. The only thing you got to make sure is when you do a control like that, the, the panel goes on like this. When you're putting the panel, taking the control out, you got to make sure where the arrow is. This is the arrow where the zero has to line up. So you want to make sure you get the control in right side up or, uh, you know, not upside down. So. And then uh, there's their off position, which is the zero, which is the left here, which is your niche right here. So there's your zero, and I'm on the left side. So 
I got my control right, so you just kind of dry, dry fit it so you kind of know that everything's going to fit okay, and then you put the panel on, and hopefully away she goes. So that's that. Alrighty. Let's see here. Okay. Okay. And there it is. All put back into place. Your plastic screws. Top, bottom, new stainless steel screws. Uh, in the middle. Uh, True likes them set at number five for that's their starting point. For that's where all the trues are supposed to be set at. So I like to just put them one more. At number six is a little bit colder, so it hopefully impresses the customer. So uh, that's that. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, click like on the video if you could and subscribe. All right, uh, this is how to replace a temperature control. Take care, buddy. Okay. Uh, I had to do a little degrease too. Didn't do my usual super dyno on this, but uh, it's a whole heck of a lot better than it was. Didn't want to get it too close to that cardboard to hopefully get that wet, but just uh, you can see the fan blade through there and you can see through it, you know, so you can, you know, it's pretty damn clean. It's on a greasy cook line, so you just kind of stay ahead of everything. So, did that with the temperature control just to try and give this old dog a, a little bit more help since it is on a greasy cook line and way above 86 degrees compressor is a little slow uh, definitely tired compressor but it gets the temp it's just slow takes like 30 minutes to get to 35 degrees from 70 degrees so that's not bad I mean it's a great degree a minute so it's on the outside should take 15 or 20 minutes so yeah it's tired 